You know, each business day, real estate giant Remax estimates it sells a home every 3.3 minutes. Here in Indiana, Remax will represent more than 36,000 Hoosiers this year. The company says it has seen tremendous growth since its inception here in 1988. And joining me now with more on the growth and some trends in the real estate marketplace is the regional director for Remax of Indiana, Jonathan Nicholas. And Jonathan, uh, welcome to the program. Thank you. Let's talk about first the growth of Remax, the real estate, residential real estate marketplace. Of course, very competitive. What do you attribute uh, the growth of your organization to? Well, I believe that we've begun to offer uh, some services that all the other traditional firms had offered in the years past. We are always known as the top producer destination, the place where the experienced agent went. We uh, average 14 years experience with our associates that are with us. So as a result, those those people have been coming over to the Remax brand uh, steadily over the last 10 or 12 years here in Indiana. We're at 1,800, uh, 1800 associates statewide well, now. The, the internet and technology obviously continue to really play a major role in, in, in real estate, residential real estate in particular. You launched a new website mm -hmm. in the spring. What was really the impetus uh, for this new site? That is where the consumer is going. The consumer is already there. Um, consumers have been uh, searching the web uh, steadily more and more over the last five years. Approximately 80% of every uh, home buyer goes to the web now first mm -hmm. before consulting a newspaper, before yeah. seeing a sign. Yeah. And typically 76% of those buyers are going to choose the first agent that responds to them online. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have to put our money and our emphasis on the, yeah. on the online. Talk about trends uh, here mm -hmm. in Indiana. It's certainly the residential marketplace getting a lot of attention, a lot of struggles and challenges in some places. Give us your thumbnail uh, uh, sketch, if you will, of Indiana. Indiana is in a transitional marketplace. I'd say we're in a definitely a, a flatter market than what we've seen in years past. Uh, we're average across the state up 4% in average sales price. However, we're down 1% in the number of transactions, meaning consumer confidence is probably waning a bit. There's not as many transactions going on. Different parts of the state regionally, though, are experiencing different numbers. So if you look in the northwest part of the state, you look at South Bend and down in the other corner southeast, we're seeing that the numbers are up in both of those categories. Mm -hmm. However, in central Indiana, we're down. Mm -hmm. In uh, southern Indiana, we're down. Evansville's down. And uh, when I say down, you know, Indiana's never been a spiking market mm -hmm. either direction. Uh, we tend to fluctuate 1% to 5%. And you're going to see that fall in line right now with what we're experiencing. I think what's happening, honestly, is that the consumer is still thinking about the good market they heard about in mm -hmm. California and the East mm -hmm. Coast. As a result, they're not being as realistic on their pricing, and I think the third and fourth quarter we're going to see bear out mm -hmm. that the price is going to adjust just exactly. slightly. Yes. And here in central Indiana, too, as we talked off camera, you, there are some hot spots and yes, pockets, there is. right? There is, definitely. Your, your uh, suburbias and your vinyl villages are suffering a little bit, but definitely downtown urban markets, close in, inside the loop, the Carmel markets, things like that, they are still experiencing a, a good uh, seller's market. Mm -hmm. As we transition now, most most likely we're going to start touching into a buyer's market in some areas as well. All right. Some interesting perspectives. Uh, Jonathan Nicholas from Remax of Indiana, thanks for joining us. Thanks for we'll talk me. to you soon. Yes. All right. Well, coming up.